everybody, and welcome to Family Feud. My name is Nick Carraway, your entirely unbiased host. Tonight is the debut of our new experimental format, Double Time. In this version of Feud, two representatives of two families will compete for a grand prize of $20,000. On this side, we have the Paramore family from East Egg, New York, and Starkfield, Massachusetts. And our second family, from New York City and Salem, Massachusetts, the Thormores, everybody. Now, I want to give away some money, so give me Daisy and give me Abigail. Alright, here we go everyone. Top six answers on the board. When a woman has an affair, what is her reasoning behind it? Abigail? Social mobility. Social mobility. That's witchcraft. This should be the first answer. Uh, I guess the American public believes otherwise. How about you, Daisy? Uh, I think she'd do it for the money. Money. I believe we're gonna play. Hey, Daisy. How you doing? Money fine. Now, Daisy, what do you do for a living? Oh, Nick, I don't work. My husband takes care of me. Um, it doesn't really matter if we win or lose. Tom still has money either way. I came here because it seemed fun. Manny here wanted me to help out. Unless you call sitting around my house a profession. <laughs> I see. Um, do you mind introducing your relative here? Why, of course not. This here is my cousin, Maddie Sol. Pleasure to meet you, Nick. Same to you, Maddie. What do you do for a living? I'm a housekeeper who loves to dance and still at high speeds in the winter. I'm actually here so I can win some money to replace something I broke by accident. The lady of the house says it's beyond value. But there is nothing a little money can't fix, right? Of course, if Zenobia Throne was watching this, and I'm sure she is, I'm here to win some money to renovate the farm. Also, I did not break your pickle dish. The cat did, I swear. Uh, I see. Well then, Maddie, are you ready to play? Mm-hmm. When a woman has an affair, what is the reasoning behind it? They could have an emotional connection. An emotional connection? Back to you, Daisy. Mm-hmm. Well, I suppose if they were a former lover, an affair wouldn't hurt, would it? They were a former lover. What do you think, Maddie? Well, maybe it makes them feel better. It makes them, it makes them feel better. Even though I'm supposed to say I'm biased, that was a reasonable answer. Why do you think a woman would have an affair, Daisy? Um, to relieve the past, perhaps? You can't repeat the past. I don't know about that. She'll do it to relieve the past. Maddie, you won't strike away from allowing the boys to steal. What is your answer? They get a little kick out of it. They get a kick out of it. When a woman has an affair, what is her reasoning behind it? I don't believe in having affairs. Love should be respectful, but I'd expect them to cheat because the guy looks good. The guy is smoking hot. Number five. Oh, loneliness. Round two. All right, give me Maddie, give me Holden. Here we go. Point values are doubled. Top four answers on the board. What can a person have that makes them seem mature? Holden? A drinking habit. A drinking habit. And Witchcraft! Maddie? Um, money? Let's see, money. That's damn kaput. This is the phoniest roundabout I've ever seen. This entire game is a scam. I don't know why anyone would watch it. Right, Abigail? This is a scam. Settle down, everybody. Maddie, do you? We'll play. Daisy, what can a person have that makes them seem mature? Daisy. 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 Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, Nick. Um, maybe a car? They have a car! What about you, Maddie? Well, mature people have freedom, right? See, mature people have freedom. Daisy, it's up to you. You've got one strike left before the memories can... Daisy. 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 Um, I'm sorry, Nick. Uh, they have, um, life skills? They have life skills. But boys, it's your chance to steal. What kind of person has that makes them seem more mature? Sex. Can't say 
that on TV. This is when you know you're going to hell. Uh, mature people have sex. Let's see, number two. Number four. Well, I guess you gotta do number three to get number four. We'll be back after this commercial break. Next time on The Maori Show, Hester Prynne is a young woman with a child named Pearl. She has one problem, though. Who is her baby's daddy? Is it Dimsdale, the town priest? Or is it her ex-hubby, Chillingworth? Find out tomorrow on The Maori Show at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're back. The boys are currently in the lead. Give me Abigail and give me Daisy. We've got the top three answers on the board and point values are tripled. If you had the chance to do it, why would you betray a man? Abigail? For revenge. Revenge. How about you, Daisy? I don't really know. Um, we're gonna play. How you doing, kid? Who are you calling a kid? I ain't no kid. That's what's wrong with this system. We judge someone based on what age they are, not their intelligence or anything else. Because I can bet you, I'm more intelligent and more mature than half the people on this goddamn planet. Now, I'm supposed to say completely fair-minded throughout this game, but kid, um, I mean, Olin, those are some spot-on observations. And I see where you're coming from. You're gonna go places. I know. That's all well and grand, but you've gotta answer the question. If you had the chance to do it, why would you betray a friend? Mm, maybe to protect them? Protect them from what? I don't really know. The world. And why would they need that? Well, I've got a little sister, Phoebe. You'd love her. Everyone does. I don't know. It'd just be nice if she stayed herself. You know, a kid. Hmm. Very well put. To protect them. Abigail, how are you doing today? I'm happy to be here today on Family Feud. Hopefully I don't stir things up too much. It's such a change from jury old Salem with its stuffy old rules. You don't like following the rules? I don't enjoy following the rules as much as I like bending. I'm a people person and I use, I use that to get what I want. If you don't like how I do things, I'll just accuse you of witchcraft. Alright then. Abigail, if you had a chance to do it, why would you betray a friend? Peer pressure. Hold it, we're back to you. We asked 100 Americans, why would they betray friends? So what's your answer? I really don't like this type of phony question, Nick. Maybe it was because they thought they'd seem cooler. You're confident about that answer, Holden? Don't you damn patronize me, Nick. I'm no fool. Alright, alright. Because they want to be cool. Okay, Abigail, you've got one strike and one answer left. You've been carrying your team in this round, so if you have the chance to do it, why would you betray a friend? Well, I mean, I'm not speaking from personal experience. And if you're going to say I am, I'll just accuse you of witchcraft. I wasn't going to. I betray a friend even for a little personal gain. People would do it for personal gain. Abigail, hold it. You two will play in the fast money round after the break. A new residential district has opened up in New York, and its name is West Egg. West Egg has it all. Great landscape, wonderful scenery, and parties are popping every night. Want to know more? Call Wolf Shrines Real Estate at 1-800-GRN-LIT. Again, that's Wolf Shrines Real Estate at 1-800-GRN-LIT. Welcome back to the feud, everybody. I'm your completely fair-minded host, Nick Carraway. Now, it's time to play... Fast, Fast money. money! You ready? Of course. 20 seconds on the clock. We asked 100 people, what is the most popular color for a car? Silver. Name a type of tree that has three letters. Oak. Why do some couples not get divorced? Money. What is the common crime in Colonial Salem, Massachusetts? Pass. Where do ducks go in the winter? The south. What is the common crime in Col Col Colonial Salem? Releasing the cows. Now, I know I'm supposed to say I'm biased here, but I'm surprised you didn't say... What? Witchcraft? Please, everyone knows that that was just a one-time thing there, right? Besides, everyone in Salem knows that when the cows got out, the person responsible would be in trouble with the law back then. You might know that, but do you think most Americans know that? Oh. Uh, well, oh well. Alright then. Yes, 100 people. What the most popular color for a car was? 
and you said silver. So they said, 25 points. Name the type of tree that has three letters. You said, oak. So they said, 20 points. Uh, why do people not get divorced? You said money. So they said, 22 points. What is common crime in, in colonial Salem, Massachusetts? You said, releasing the cows. So they said, nothing. Where do ducks go in the winter? You said the south. So they said, 31 points. All for a total of 98. Okay then, Holden will have a bit of catching up to do. So Holden, come on out. Holden, how are you doing? Your partner did an all right job answering, so you'll need to pick up some of the slack. You need 102 points to win. It's going to be a little tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yeah, guess. We asked 100 people, what is the most popular color for a car? Gold. Name of type of tree that has three letters. Oak. Try again. Elm. Why do some couples not get divorced? They're Catholic. What is the common crime in colonial Salem, Massachusetts? Witchcraft. Where do ducks go in the winter? No one knows. We asked 100 people, what is the most popular color for a car? You said gold. So they said 30 points. Number one answer was black. Name a type of tree that has three letters. You said L. So they said 32 points. Number one answer was L. Why do some couples not get divorced? You said because they're Catholic. So they said 4 points. What is the common crime in colonial Salem, Massachusetts? You said witchcraft. Uh, let's see. So they said 31 points. That was the number one answer. Now, for all the money, we asked you, where do the ducks go in the winter? No one knows. I asked everyone. Literally everyone. Everywhere. And no one knows. If you found people who know, they're definitely lying to you. Because no one seems to know where the damn ducks go in the winter. I guess they don't want to know if they won. Uh, no one knows. So we said no one. Zero points. Well, thanks for watching Family Feud, everyone. Next time, tune in to see the Glass family face off against the Loman family. Twenty seconds on the clock. We'll find. <laughs> Wait. And we're back. The Paramore family has blankety blank points, and the Moroys have. Oh, um, we're supposed to fill in. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to fill in the valley. Holden, how are you doing, kid?